Emanationism is an idea in the cosmology or cosmogony of certain religious or philosophical systems. Emanation, from the Latin emanare meaning, to flow from, or to pour forth or out of, is the mode by which all things are derived from the first reality, or principle. All things are derived from the first reality or perfect God by steps of degradation to lesser degrees of the first reality or God, and at every step the emanating beings are less pure, less perfect, less divine. Emanationism is a transcendent principle from which everything is derived, and is opposed to both creationism wherein the universe is created by a sentient God who is separate from creation and materialism which posits no underlying subjective and or ontological nature behind phenomena being immanent. Origins <inaudible> 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 Emanationism is a cosmological theory which asserts that all things «flow» from an underlying principle or reality, usually called the Absolute or Godhead. Any teachings which involve emanation are usually in opposition to creation ex nihilo as emanation advocates that everything has always existed and has not been «created» from nothing. Kleinham writes, Underlying the worldview of traditional cosmology is the idea that the universe is an emanation of a unitary divine principle. Although this idea has been blended with the revealed creationist doctrines of the major monotheistic religions, orthodox theologians have generally regarded it with suspicion. They have relegated it to the shadowy spheres of mysticism, pantheism, and the occult, which have always been at odds with orthodoxy. The traditional view is summed in the doctrine of emanation formulated by Plotinus. The primary classical exponent of emanationism was the Neoplatonic philosopher Plotinus, wherein his work, The Aeneids, All Things Phenomenal and Otherwise Were an Emanation Greek, Aporo Aporo Aeneid E.3.2 or Aporoia Aporoia from the one, N. Hen. In 5.1.6, emanationism is compared to a diffusion from the one, of which there are three primary hypostasis, the one, the intellect, nous nous, and the soul, psyche psyche. Another advocate of emanationism was Michael Servetus, who was burned at the stake for his non-trinitarian cosmology. Topic: <inaudible> Occultism. <inaudible> emanationism is a common teaching found in occult and esoteric writings. According to Owen, 2005, Theosophy draws on Neoplatonic emanationism, in particular the concept of separation from and return to the Absolute, and reworks the Eastern concepts of karma and reincarnation to provide an evolutionary theory of both humankind and the universe. Theosophy teaches that human beings and all organisms including animals and all matter, flow from a pure spiritual formation in the Absolute to a material one over time to become materialized but later will return to the Absolute after the cosmic cycle of life. As Morgan summarizes, "...the secret doctrine laid out an emanationist view of the development of the physical universe, a process of ebb and flow in which spirit gradually unfolded itself in matter, attaining consciousness, and returning to spirit in a higher and more realized form." According to the emanationist cosmology of Madame Blavatsky all monads emerge from divine unity at the beginning of a cosmic cycle and return to this source at its close. Blavatsky in her book The Key to Theosophy 1889 wrote that, "...we believe in a universal divine principle, the root of all, from which all proceeds, and within which all shall be at the end of the great cycle of being." Samael on Weor had taught emanationism from his studies with the Kabbalah and Gnosticism. He mapped out a complex esoteric cosmology with matter flowing from different planes of existence all existing in the Absolute. As Dawson comments, As with esoteric thought in general, Weor holds that the universe originated in the ordering activity of the Absolute upon chaotic primordial matter, giving rise to emanating the subsequent planes of the created order pleroma. See also Anathem Jerusalem the emanation of the giant Albion Panentheism Eon Gnosticism. Emanation in the Eastern Orthodox Church <laughs>